Hey EO Live, I'm Alex McCadded. Welcome to the News Roundup. Spring has started off with snow, but sunshine is on the way. My favorite things about spring are the warm weather, longer days, and the chance to do anything outdoors. Love being outdoors, and I think it's safe to say barbecue season is right around the corner. This is the Friday edition of the News Roundup, brought to you by Grand Ron Hospital and EO and I. This week, we heard more from the Center for Human Development about the Medication Assisted Treatment Program. Here's a look at what they had to say to Brent. The vast majority of times when an, when an individual is you know, diagnosed with opioid use, they often uh, have frequent um, involvement with law enforcement, with um, you know, the kind that they might be in and out of jail constantly. It's, it's really difficult to you know, start into that recovery process when you're constantly being um, you know, picked up. Um, and this, it's kind of a vicious cycle in a way. So, you know, reaching out to these individuals and starting that process and getting them the housing that they need, because it's very, very hard to focus on recovery and treatment when you, when your basic meet, you know, your basic needs, uh, like housing, um, you know, shelter, food are not being met. So that's what this program is, uh, housing assistance is kind of trying to trying to um, tackle is that that problem of um, the lack of housing. Catch the full interview right here on EOA Live TV. Make sure to tune in next Wednesday at 1.30 p.m. to hear an update from CHD about local COVID-19 information. EOU is having a lot of fun on the field and so is our very own sports guy, Dodzy. Dodzy covers all of our local sports and he recently visited Community Stadium to watch our EOU Mountaineers dominate Carroll College. Go Mountaineers! Here's more sports news with our very own Dodsey. Thanks, Alex. Big week for EOU sports, man. That football team went out and crushed Carroll. The three-handed monster of Solo Taylor, Sage DeLong, and Chase Van Wick was in full effect. We got to see Blaine Shaw, true freshman, starting at safety. We saw Parker Robinson out there. We saw Nate Reed. We saw Cade Reed catch a touchdown. All these LeGrand kids. Quincy Backus moved from running back to to corner and had a heck of a game man mount up let's go lhs the football team got another win against Vail. let's keep it going let's get in that top four you guys let's go on wednesday i had justin jesky how many nicknames you got i i call so i call you baby gronk but i see on your uh instagram feed there's like toast and what else yeah yeah i got toast cheese uh you baby thor <laughs> Where, where's Tom. toast come from uh big gamer so uh the, my username is tragic toast and uh it just stuck everybody calls me toast to practice now and then what about cheese well, that was last year i think uh jarek and landon and they started calling me cheese i never knew kind of why probably because you're always smiling i would think i, I don't know maybe it's because of cheddar bob from eight mile I, Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you shot yourself they, in the foot. <laughs> call me Cheddar Bob too, so yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Aspen Christensen, Santiago from the men's soccer team. We finally were able to find the net. We finally were able to win a game. You know, I think the whole the whole year we've been playing really well for the most part. You know, I think uh, we were able to put it together for a bigger amount of time during the game, and it showed. And so. From now, I think the guys and myself are motivated. You know, we don't want to, we don't want to go back to the uh, losing streak. So we just want to keep it going, man. I think we have the potential and we have uh, the energy to to come out with the with the dubs the, the rest uh, rest of the games. So you're you're gonna get this year of eligibility back. Are you coming back? I am. So it's funny, you know. I'm a senior. I'm old. My body's okay. hurting. I'm old. <laughs> but. Uh, this was supposed to be my last year. We got the eligibility year back, which worked in my favor because I still have a year of classes left anyways. So I'm definitely coming back, running out uh, school, and, you know, I get to play luckily. So definitely coming back. So exciting, man. This show's got some momentum. Eastern Oregon, a lot of sports. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5.30 p.m. Give it a like, share, follow right here on EO Live TV. Back to you, Alex. Catch the EO Alive Sports Show live with Dodzy every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5.30 p.m. Or listen to our EO Alive Sports podcast on Spotify. This week on AM on EO Alive, we hosted a very special guest, Sheriff Cody Bowen. 
Sheriff Bowen talked to us about his new EOL Live show, Keeping It Clear with Cody Bowen. Here's a look. I spent a long time this last year preparing myself for this position and, and learning the ins and outs of it, you know, on the side. And now that I'm in office, the, uh, the one thing I think that, that has surprised me the most is how vacant we are from the public view, if you will. I mean, people look at the sheriff's office and they know the police officers, they know what they're in, but as far as, as what's going on in our office or, or, or what we do on a daily, or what the sheriff does on a daily basis or something that is, I was like, wow, nobody really knows. And that was kind of an aha moment for me. It's like, I'm elected official, you know, I need, people need to know what I do on a daily basis. People need to know where I'm at. So that was, that was probably the biggest aha thing is, is man, it, people really don't know what's going on um, from the outside looking in. Um, and I want to bring the outside to everybody and show them or the inside and show them what's going on. So. Thanks for stopping by Sheriff Owen. Remember to watch AM on EO Alive every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 a.m. or watch later on our Facebook page or listen to the podcast on Spotify. Northeast Oregon has a new state representative, Bobby Levy of ECHO. I sat down with her last week to talk about some very important legislation, COVID-19 relief and a special elk depredation program. Since 2004, there has been a group of farmers and ranchers working on elk depredation issues throughout the state. And it hasn't went any further than them working on the issues and not getting it done. And um, it's funny what happens when you get the word representative in front of your name. People are more willing to have a conversation with you. <clears throat> so we have a work group started. And right now what we're doing is that we have people, uh, landowners, we have Rocky Mountain Elk, Oregon Hunters Association, Oregon Farm Bureau, Oregon Wheat Growers League, Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife, um, uh, Nature Conservancy, and, and quite a few other organizations, as well as uh, individual farmers and ranchers that are going to be on this work group. Thanks, Rep. Levy, for talking with me about everything going on in Salem. We look forward to connecting you with our viewers again. In our Briefly's this week, Art Center East will host their fifth annual Fiber Arts and Jewelry Exhibit on Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The center says that the annual exhibit creates a platform for an underrepresented branch of the visual arts while showcasing the breadth of talent within our local community of fiber and jewelry artists. The Grand Church of the Nazarene will host its Easter Jam Party on Sunday at 3 p.m. featuring food, games, and other family-friendly activities. The Data Epsilon Sorority will hold a Pinochle fundraiser at Urban Vine in Island City on Saturday. Tickets are $10 per person at the door. Snacks will be provided and prizes will be awarded. Players at all skill levels are welcome. Delta Epsilon Sorority primarily fundraises for local and national charities, including St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Remember, the LeGrand Parks and Recreation Department will host a doggy Easter egg hunt sponsored by PetSense on March 27th at the Riverside Dog Park at 2 p.m. Easter eggs will have dog treats inside. There will be prizes for the best dressed dog and best dog trick. There will also be human snacks for the human participants. Thanks for watching EO Alive. I'm Alex McCadden. Tune in again next week for the News Roundup. Make sure to catch our News Roundup podcast on Spotify.